Hey guys, happy hump day. I have an editorial for you on this Wednesday. This time we're going to Wisconsin. We're going to go up to Wisconsin and give you an editorial out of Wisconsin. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Another cap, another cop that's been accused of being a little too touchy with the kids in their Wisconsin. So uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what else. There's got to be a better screening process with these cops that we can find these cops that aren't creepy or weird like this one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. The link to this story will be in the description box below and you can comment in the comment section as always. Ah, you're going to love this one. You parents are going to love this one. Let's go to Wisconsin store tribune thank you star tribune for this story out of wisconsin a veteran cottage grove police officer assigned to park high school has been charged with sexually touching seven female students and soliciting one teen multiple times for nude photos adam g pelton 40 of river falls wisconsin was charged monday with three counts of second degree criminal sexual conduct and four counts of fourth-degree criminal sexual conduct in connection with incidents stretching from September 1st, 2018 until October 4th, 2019, about the time he went on administrative leave from the police department in the wake of an investigation. Pelton appeared Tuesday in Washington County District Court, that was yesterday, and remained jailed in lieu of $50,000 bail ahead of a March 2nd court appearance. Defense attorney Robert Fowler said he has yet to see much evidence in the case and had no comment. Mm -hmm. Cottage Grove Police Chief Pete Corner said in a statement following the charges that as soon as allegations were brought forth, the police department responded immediately with a preliminary investigation. Within 24 hours, the case was turned over to an outside agency to conduct an independent investigation. The chief otherwise declined to comment. According to the criminal complaint, reports by several students of inappropriate sexual conduct initiated by Pelton prompted authorities to ask the Apple Valley Police Department to investigate. That's in Wisconsin, not California. Students allege that Pelton repeatedly initiated hugs from them during which he would touch their buttocks over their clothing. Most of these interactions occurred in Pelton's private school office, which lacked video surveillance. However, a video was located that showed Pelton initiating hugs with female students in the halls. Several students also reported that Pelton would often call or refer to them as beautiful and sweetheart. One of them disclosed that he told her that if he were her age, he would date her. She also said that Pelton sent her Snapchat messages over summer break. In one of the messages, he made lunch plans with her. During law enforcement questioning, the students said the girls didn't think they could report Pelton. What? The complaint reads, we aren't going to say anything. I mean, he's a police officer, which noted that three of the students were between the ages of 13 and 15 and four were 16 to 17 years old. Another student stated that while receiving a hug, Pelton would rest his hand on her buttocks, which would happen four to five days a week during school. Wow. She also reported receiving three requests over Snapchat to send him nude photographs, which the student never sent. When questioned, Pelton denied touching any student's buttocks. He also initially denied asking any student for nude pictures, but he later acknowledged doing so as a joke. Well, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. No, you're a sick fuck. To avoid any potential conflicts of interest, the Dakota County Attorney's Office is prosecuting the case. So they've turned it over to another county. Finishing up, Pelton has been a licensed law enforcement officer since 2009. He began working at Park High School during the 2018-2019 school year after holding the same post at Cottage Grove Middle School starting in January 2017. You need to see if there's any victims there. He's had no complaints or disciplinary action in his time on the force and received solid to exceptional annual job reviews, according to department records. Why are these cops that are bad, corrupt, perverted, whatever, always got this, you know, exemplary uh, employment record? Like he's a cop that shines. Oh, 
he walks on the water and his feet never get wet. How come all these cops are like that? You never have these cops where people say, yeah, the guy's a son of a bitch. He's a, I knew he's a, he's a punk. I knew he was going to get in trouble. I told, my, I told our coworkers that this motherfucker's getting in trouble someday. No, it's always, he's a great cop, man. He's the best. Pelton received a letter of commendation from the police department for negotiating with a woman on August 8, 2015 who was threatening to jump from an overpass onto Highway 61. Well, that's just normal human behavior to want to save a life. It's not exemplary. That's commending. I commend you for that. What, being a human being? Having compassion for somebody? Now, I'm not saying that's not a good thing. I mean, it's a great thing, but... They're acting like that makes him the best cop in the friggin' world. Pelton and two other officers, fixing my collar, Pelton and two other officers grabbed the woman and brought her to safety. He also served in the Minnesota Army National Guard in Kosovo, Iraq, and Croatia, according to South Washington County School District records. And that's the end of the story. So... Here you have this guy, man. All these kids are saying this. He's saying no, no, no. But then he did did say he acknowledged it the one time and said, well, it was a joke. You joke with the kids. You don't joke about that. Okay, you're an idiot. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers across your nation. And here's one I'm going to have to follow up. March 2nd is his court date. So about March 3rd, I'm going to look and see what happened. See if there's any follow-up. There might not be. Sometimes they don't release the dispositions or release the follow-ups. They just tell you the story and then leave it. But he's on administrative leave. pending Now, <clears throat> Let me go back to the top real quick. Does it say he got terminated or not? Because he was on administrative leave pending the outcome of the independent investigation. <clears throat> um, no, it just says he's been charged. And uh, he's on administrative leave. Oh, he went on administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. So he's probably still getting paid by the police department. I'm not sure. Uh, he is in jail on $50,000 bail, but I, it doesn't say whether he was fired or if he's not being paid, he's whatever. Um, and the police union, because what I'm reason I'm saying that, you know, the police union is going to require this guy to get paid until the police department makes a decision. I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Happy hump day. Try to have more editorials coming for you this week.